Okay, in this video we're going to start talking about integration by substitution. So uh, what that does is substitution pretty much lets you take something kind of complicated and then transform it into something less complicated, something easier to work with, uh, something that you might know a formula for, things like that. So substitution isn't really specific to integration. Um, it does show up in other parts of math, like if you're trying to solve certain types of equations in pre-calculus, um, substitution shows up there. So it is a pretty useful trick all around in general in math. Um, but for uh, integration by substitution, let's just talk about that here. So um, if you want to integrate something like cosine of 2x, uh, as far as substitution goes, that's probably one of the simplest examples we could have. Um, but it's a good one to start out with, just to kind of illustrate some of the basic concepts. So anyway, um, this 2 here, what if we didn't have the 2? What if we just wanted to say integral of cosine of x dx? Well, we know that would just be sine of x, and then because it's indefinite, it'd be plus c, right? So we know that, um, but this 2 kind of ruins that for us, right? The 2 kind of makes it kind of complicated. Um, you know, it's not terribly difficult, but we just want to know, all right, what are we, how are we going to work with that? Well, um, we know if the 2 wasn't there, everything would be okay. So let me take this entire expression 2x, and let me just call that something simpler, okay? So I'm going to call that something simpler. So let's get rid of this here. So let me make a substitution. I'm going to say u equals 2x, okay? So now the integral becomes, uh, so I'm going to rewrite that integral now. So it's going to be integral of uh, cosine of u. Okay, so the 2x is now u. Okay, so I've just made the substitution, let u be 2x. So this uh, 2x becomes u. But I still have a dx there. Okay, so I can't, I can't continue like this. That's not okay. I don't want to do that. Um, because I want to get everything to be in terms of the new variable. Okay, so I don't want to put a dx here. So how do I handle the dx? Well, if u is 2dx, then... Um, what we do is we take what's called differential. So differential is kind of a calculus one thing, but we take a differential, which means uh, we say du equals 2 dx. Okay, so that's our differential. So, you know, don't just say du equals 2. Okay, if you say du equals 2, that's really not correct. Um, you got to have the dx here also. This dx is required. You got to be very careful with uh, the little details like that. So du equals 2 dx. Now, um, we're still not quite there, right? Because we don't have 2 dx we only have a dx. Now, uh, there are two different ways to think about this. Um, really, I guess more than two, but for this uh, the simple example here, there's only two ways that really, uh, two different ways. So um, we'll think about it both ways. So first of all, um, I don't have two dx, I just have dx. So what I could do is stick a two in there. So let me stick a two in here. So if I do that, I'm gonna stick a two in there. Um, hey, the red's not showing up too well. Okay, so I'm going to stick a 2 in there, 2 dx. Now, if I stick a 2 in there, what did that just do? I really just multiplied everything by 2, okay? Multiplied everything by 2. And if I want to make that okay, I'm going to have to divide everything by 2 or multiply by a half. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, let's, you know, red's not really showing up too well. Let's use a different color. So um, let's try with the black. So if I stick a 2 in here, okay, so stick that 2 in there. Now I have to divide by 2 to make that okay. Because sticking a 2 in here is just like multiplying by 2. So if I want to make that okay, I have to multiply by a half or divide by 2, okay? So um, now 2dx, uh, we have that now, okay? That is du, so this is du. Okay, so cosine u du, but remember this 1 half is still there, so I gotta bring that half down over here, so it's still the 1 half, okay? And remember, uh, there was another way to think about this, and we'll talk about that other way. Once we finish it this way, we'll talk about the other way. Um, and we'll also talk about, you know, how do we know what to pick for you? We'll talk about that later, too, uh, in this video. So 1 half is just a constant, so let's pull it out. So 1 half integral of cosine of u du. And now this, you know, cosine of u, so that's, that's our simple, uh, the simple way here. You know, we know how to integrate that, right? That's just a direct formula. So this is a 1 half times sine of u plus c. Okay, so now we integrated the du is gone, so now we have to have the plus c because it's indefinite. And then uh, we have to go back to x, because the original problem was in terms of x. So we can't just leave it in terms of u. We have to go back to the original variable, uh, which is x. So u is 2x, right? That was our substitution, u is 2x. So this is now 1 half sine of 2x, uh, and then plus c. OK, so that's our answer here. And you know you could check it by taking derivatives, things like that. Um, we won't go through that here. But if you take a derivative of this, uh, you will get exactly cosine of 2x. Um, OK. so. Now let's recap just a little bit real quick and we'll talk about the other ways to think about this um, and talk about how do we know what to let u be. So um, 
you know, we led UB2X because it was the inside guy, um, kind of, and, you know, we want to say, okay, I don't know how to work with cosine of 2x, but I know how to work with cosine of just a variable, okay, cosine of just a thing with no, you know, 2 on it. Um, so let me just say, okay, let u be 2x, then I, cosine of 2x becomes cosine of u, and I can work with that, but then you have to be careful of everything else that's going on. So dx, um, you know, du, so if u is 2x, then du is 2dx, so I don't have 2dx, I just have dx. So let me stick a 2 in there, multiply everything by 2. To make that okay, I have to divide everything by 2, or multiply by a half, same thing. So that's where that 1 half came from. Okay, so um, there's another way to think about this, so let's go ahead and do that over here. So if we want to do integral, uh, so we'll set off some, set aside some space here. Okay, so we'll go through this, uh, through this example again, thinking about it a slightly different way, which really isn't terribly different. So integral of cosine of 2x uh, dx. Okay. So now, uh, same substitution, right? So um, let's talk about real quick, how do we know what to pick for the substitution? So uh, let's see if we can get a different right out here. So for the substitution, um, what you're looking for in general is a function and its derivative. Okay, a function and its derivative. Um, or maybe a function and a constant multiple of its derivative. So what do we pick here? We pick u equals 2x, which is a function, and its derivative. So the derivative of 2x is 2. Okay, but you know, um, when we take the differential, we have to have the dx. So we didn't have a 2, right? Um, technically, we had like a 1 here. So, um, you know, if u is 2x, then the derivative of u is just 2. But we didn't have a 2. We had a constant multiple of 2, which is just 1. Okay, so if that's kind of confusing, uh, don't worry about it. This, uh, really, this example is too simple to illustrate that concept. Um, it's a little bit too simple. So, you know, it, it is what's happening here. You know, we have a function and its derivative, or in this case, a function and a constant multiple of its derivative. Okay, so that's really what you're looking for when you do a substitution. You want to see a function and its derivative, or a function and a constant multiple of its derivative, and then you let u be that function, okay? Um, if that doesn't jump out at you, then what you could do is just try and let u be the inside guy. So here the inside guy is 2x because it's sitting inside of cosine. Okay, 2x is sitting inside of cosine, so we try and let u be the inside guy. Okay, so again, just to recap, um, if... Uh, you're doing integration by substitution, look for a function and a constant multiple of its derivative, okay, or just the function is derivative. Um, generally, you might have to have a constant multiple somewhere, um, but you know, that's okay. But then just once you find that, let u be the function. If that doesn't jump out at you, if you can't see that, if you can't find that, that's totally fine. Let u be the inside guy and see if that works. If it doesn't work, you might have to make a different substitution or you might have to try something else. Okay. So uh, some substitution problems can be a little more tricky, and we'll talk about those in later examples. But anyway, same substitution, let u be 2x. So then uh, take a differential, uh, and we get du equals 2dx. So be careful, we got to have that dx there. Okay, so at this step, what we did over here was we said, all right, let me stick a 2 in there so I have what I need. Then I have to divide by 2 to make that okay. Uh, if you don't like that, what you could do is say, okay, I don't have 2dx, I just have a dx. So what is dx? Well, if du is 2dx, Divide by 2, divide by 2. So then 1 half du is uh, dx. Okay, so dx is exactly 1 half du. So then I can uh, use the substitution now. Okay, so u is 2x, so this uh, 2x becomes u. And then this dx, we just found out, is 1 half du. Okay, so if you prefer to think of it that way, that's totally fine. Um, you know, some instructors like to emphasize one over the other, maybe not even mention one of them. Um, but, you know, if, if you have a choice, of course, it's totally up to you which way to do it. So let's uh, write the new integral now. So cosine of 2x, that becomes cosine of u. Okay? And then dx becomes 1 half du. Okay, so be careful because only the u is inside of the cosine. Only the u is inside of the cosine there. So 1 half is just a constant, so we can pull it out. So we have 1 half integral of cosine of u du. And then this is, uh, now this is just our direct formula, right? If we integrate cosine of u du, then we know we just get sine of u. And then plus c, because it's indefinite, and then that's uh, equal to 1 half sine of 2x. Always go back to the original variable for indefinite integrals uh, by substitution. Okay? And then we have our answer here. So notice uh, it's exactly the same thing as what we had before, right? Exactly the same thing. Okay. So the only difference here is, you know, on the left side, what we did over here was, you know, we said, okay, uh, du equals 2dx. I don't have 2dx, I just have dx. So let me shove a 2 in there, which means multiply everything by 2. So then I have to divide everything by 2 to make that okay. 
okay? Um, you know, that's okay. You wanna be careful that you keep it inside the integral until you know you can pull it out. So one half is just a constant, so we know we can pull it out, that's okay. But sometimes, if you do it this method, you might have, um, you might have stuff in terms of x or in terms of another variable that you wanna keep inside the integral. So we'll talk more about that with more complicated examples. So, you know, just keep everything inside the integral at first and then pull it out uh, later when you know you can. Of course, for constants you can, but just to keep everything consistent, uh, it's probably good to do it like that. But if you don't like doing it like this, you know, just forget about that. You can do it this way, which was, okay, um, I don't have, so du is 2dx. I don't have 2dx, I just have a dx. So what is dx? Well, let's solve this for dx. Okay, if du equals 2dx, divide everything by 2. So I just get dx by itself. Okay, that's another way to do it. Um, so dx is 1 half du, and then that becomes that. Um, still another way actually is, you know, here we solve du for 2 d, uh, or sorry, du equals 2 dx, so we solve that for dx. Well, what you could do is say, okay, well, if u is 2x, um, then that means uh, u over 2 equals x. So then we could say, so let's say 1 half u equals uh, x. So then you could say 1 half du equals dx. Okay, you could do it that way. Um, let's zoom in on that. That's another way to do it. Um, I really don't recommend that way because, you know, when you make a substitution, u equals 2x, this one is really simple, pretty straightforward. It's easy to solve for x. Um, you might not always be able to do that, okay? You might have u equals some nasty expression of x that you can't solve for x. So I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. Um, now, unfortunately, some substitution problems might require you to actually do this to solve for that variable. And we'll see some later on. Okay, we'll see a couple of those later on. But anyway, um, I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you have to, because it can't always be done. Sometimes it's what you have to do. Um, sometimes it just won't work. You know, that's kind of the problem with uh, substitution is there's no, you know, way to characterize it in general. Just sometimes, uh, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Sometimes you have to do it certain ways, sometimes other ways. Um, I mean, in general, at a high level, it's really the same thing. You look for a function and its derivative, or a function and a constant multiple of its derivative, and then you let u be that function. If you can't see a function as derivative, you know, it's, it's always going to be there, but if it doesn't jump out at you, if you can't find it, try and let u be the inside guy. Okay, so if u is the inside guy, in this case, the inside guy is 2x, because it's inside a cosine. So, you know, it's uh, a function inside of a function, so it's really like the chain rule um, going backwards. So integration by substitution, technically speaking, is like the chain rule going backwards. Um, if, you know, if it helps you to think of it like that, uh, go ahead and do that, that's totally fine. Um, and, you know, if you take a derivative of cosine of 2x, what do you get? You get negative 2 sine of 2x, right? So that's the derivative with the chain rule, and if you integrate with substitution, you get the 1 half sine 2x. So it's kind of like the chain rule going backwards. Um, if you don't like thinking of it like that, you know, totally don't worry about it. Um, but just the important point, just to recap real quick, um, two different ways to think about, you know, changing everything in terms of u. You always got to change the... So when you make the substitution u equals 2x, um, or whatever u is, make that substitution, uh, the old variable has to go away. You got to get everything in terms of the new variable. Okay, so no matter how you do it, this way or this way, um, get everything in terms of the new variable, you integrate, and then if it's indefinite, you go back to the old variable. If it's definite, you do something else, which we'll see in example three, uh, a couple of videos later. So uh, for indefinite, go back to the original variable, and don't forget your plus c, because it's indefinite. Um, and again, how do we know what to let u be? Well, look for a function as derivative, or a function and a constant multiple of its derivative. If you can't see that, just let u be the inside guy. Okay. So that's um, a general overview of integration by substitution with example one. So more examples coming up in the next few videos.